Millions could be affected by a major credit card breach at Target over the Black Friday weekend. The U.S. Secret Service confirms it's investigating a credit and debit card theft at Target stores. It's believed the breach affected nearly all of the chain's U.S. stores. No further details are being released, and neither Target nor MasterCard are commenting today. Joining me now from New York is Scott Schober, President and CEO of Berkeley Veritronic System. Welcome to our program. I think the big right, question for, for many people is, how does something like this happen? Well, it is a surprise to everyone, even, even myself included, because naturally our minds think the online is the target, and here yeah. it's the physical retail locations throughout the U.S., so pretty sophisticated attack when you think about it. How did it work? Well, uh, most likely what happened is they had access, the, the bad guys, to the servers because that's the only way they could get that many physical cards, 40 million plus cards and the information from it. It's the track data that they were after and that's where it's valuable. So they could actually tap into the server and every time somebody swiped and pulled down uh, a purchase, they would pull this track data or it would dump it from server to server for backup and they pulled this mass amount of data and it's important to know what do they want this for well obviously it's very valuable not just to buy things but on the black market they can take this track data your your contact information your card number your CVV your security code expiration date pin number in some cases, and they can actually program it onto a regular magnetic card another credit card and then sell the physical card or they could sell your actual contact information credit card information online and somebody could now go take that and go shopping and, and spend it till it gets caught. So very, very dangerous for that wow. this, this level of threat and the sheer number. Why did it take Target so long to catch on to this? That is very surprising to me as a consumer and from a cybersecurity perspective. I believe they had to have some knowledge of this early on mm -hmm. around the Black Friday time frame. I'm sure they didn't want to put something out there that might make people panic and stop going to the retail stores or shopping online. So financially, that would put a huge risk if they came out with something at that time. Perhaps they had to investigate it, dig deeper, and then when it became so apparent that this was a huge cyber threat and then you got Secret Service involved, it, it was paramount that the public be notified and consumers and everybody put on notice so they could stop this immediately and, and catch hopefully the bad guys. So should consumers get new credit cards now? If you did shop at Target? Well, it, it certainly couldn't hurt. It could not hurt. Number one thing to do is if you have access, if you have a Target card or a credit card, you could check your online statement immediately, yeah. report any fraudulent or suspicious activity. That's something you could do. And then, of course, if you used a debit card, unfortunately, they may have gotten your PIN information. If you did it on a swipe pad and entered your PIN, it's possible that went in the same stream of information if they pulled it from the server. Change your PIN number immediately if you know you've shopped in the past two weeks or so at a Target location. It would be safe to do using a debit card. So that, that, that's something that you can do instantly, at least, and it's a safety precaution. Why do you think these but any bad suspicious guys, activity, report it. Yeah, why do you think these yeah, bad please. guys would have targeted Target? <laughs> Sheer volume? Uh, probably just the, the mass number of people shopping yeah. at Target from day to day is, is immense. So it's a perfect opportunity to get in, get a lot of information, and, and take advantage of that and, uh, and sell that information. That's probably what they did. It, all retailers are probably at a similar risk, though, if you think about it, just based upon the sheer volume of traffic going on this time with credit cards. So people should be cautious no matter where they shop. All right, Scott Schober, thanks so much. Really important information. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.